Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my Sephora recommendations and wish list for the spring savings event. So I'm definitely a little bit later than I wanted to be putting this video up, but hopefully we make it in time for at least most of you who might be like me and VIB. I'm not VIB Rouge. I'm VIB, so my date is a little bit later than Rouge. So I'm gonna leave all the dates and the code and the percentages in the description box, and I'm gonna have it pop up on the screen for you guys just so you have the details. I'm sure if you guys are watching this video, you already know the details and you're just looking for really good recommendations to throw into your cart. So that is what I'm bringing to you guys today. And I'm also gonna be sharing what is in my cart, so my wish list per se, and kind of some things that I couldn't wait for and already purchased. So if you want to hear my recommendations and you like these videos, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new, and let's get on into some of these products. Starting off with an absolute banger. Now this product is not brand new, it's kind of been around, but I just got it in my collection and now there's no turning back. This is the Youth to the People Adaptogen Soothe and Hydrate Activated Mist. It's kind of a mouthful. This is full of skincare ingredients that I cannot pronounce. So I'm going to try. It's reishi, pentapeptide, ashwagandha, and hyaluronic acid. Maybe I got that right. But this is just magic in a bottle. I shared it on my Instagram stories and I just said, you know, trust me. Just trust me. It's amazing. It is a super, super fine mist. So it's not going to leave big droplets on your face. So you can use this after makeup, before makeup. And for me, I'm using it as a refreshing like skincare mist. So no makeup, makeup days. Let's say I'm getting ready to go to work or just got home from work and I'm kind of feeling like crap, like my skin feels bad. I've just been misting myself with this. And I think I've only had it for like a week and a half and I am putting a little bit of a dent in here but it smells really refreshing it's just an all-around great product and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about this so if you're looking for like a refreshing mist for makeup or not for makeup definitely check this out it's a great time to purchase I do want to mention in this video though that you can sometimes find better deals than the Sephora sale obviously so if you can by all means like check the individual websites and when I can I do let you guys know about those sales and stuff that I'm taking advantage of on my Instagram stories so some of these products I'm talking about they might have better deals elsewhere, but I'm just sharing some of my favorites from Sephora for the sake of this sale. So I might as well share another Youth to the People product. I don't know why I'm having trouble getting Youth to the People out of my mouth. It's like a little bit of a tongue twister, but this unfortunately is also an empty. So I'm sharing an empty with you guys and we might as well slap it onto my wish list because it's empty. But this is my absolute favorite toner that I've probably ever tried in my life. It's the Mandelic Acid and Superfood Unity Exfoliant. It has AHA, BHA, PHA, and it says it's a gentle solution. I use this pretty much every other day and when I'm feeling content ingested on reusable cotton pads when I get out of the shower or before I do my skincare in the morning and it's just chef's kiss like this is an amazing toner it is game changing for sure it keeps my skin clear it's incredible and on the topic of clear skin I actually cut my face with a cardboard box on accident so I have this like cut that I'm trying to cover with makeup but if you see that it's not a gigantic pimple it's actually a giant cardboard cut so that was fun I'm not scripted you guys but I've got a list <laughs> I had to write everything out so I didn't forget anything so if you're VIB or VIB Rouge now's a great time to stock up on Sol de Janeiro products specifically new ones that codes don't apply to on the Sol de Janeiro website you guys know I have a code for 10% off of Sol de Janeiro so of course like if you guys are shopping regularly you can always get 10% but now's the time to get 50 or 20% off of your Sol de Janeiro favorites and I have three of my favorite creams I've talked about these just so so many times but my summer favorite is the boom boom cream it smells like pistachio and caramel and vanilla we have the new Beja floor cream which supposedly smells like Baccarat 540 some people are fighting for their lives over that claim some people don't think that it does some people do but I really like it it's a nice like airy floral kind of vanilla sweet scent and then one of my all-time 
all-time favorites is the Bombdia Bright Cream. This one has a little bit of exfoliating properties in it, chemical exfoliating, and it's good for brightness. And this one smells just to die for. <laughs> also, anything from Nude Sticks. So I've been a big fan of Nude Sticks. I picked out my favorite product to share with you guys. This is the Nudies Bloom All Over Dewy Color Blush in the shade Sweet Peach Peony. So I've completely wrecked mine, but this is my favorite spring summer blush. Honestly, I've been all about easy makeup. Just apply it, blend it out, and go. And that's what Nude Sticks is all about. But Nude Sticks does sometimes have 30% off of their own website. So it's like, I don't know, if you want something really, really bad from Nude Sticks, it'd be a good time to buy it from Sephora. But just keep an eye out because sometimes they do have incredible deals on their website. I think I paid full price for this from Ulta at some point, but their bronzer and another blush from them I did pick up with, I think, 30% off, if I'm not mistaken, from their website. But still, really good recommendation because if you haven't tried nude sticks yet, you absolutely need to, especially if you are into cream makeup. So a product on my wish list is actually the Too Faced Pillow Talk Hangover Balm because I use that as an overnight mask. It's a really, really good hydrating overnight mask. I feel like it is not hyped up enough. I don't know why, but it's an incredible soothing product for overnight. But I also have another recommendation because I have not repurchased that yet for myself. So I've been trying this new one from Lawless. And if you like a plumping effect, you're going to like this a little bit better than the Too Faced Hangover Balm. This one has like a little teensy bit of like a tingly feeling and it plumps the lips overnight. I do feel like I wake up with more like supple looking lips and like the lines are kind of filled in a little bit. So this is the Lawless Forget the Filler Over overnight lip plumping mask. The only thing I do wish is that it kind of had more of a scent. It doesn't have like a super standout scent for me. Honestly, I can't even tell if it has one, but hopefully you can see I've made a significant dent in here. And another thing I like about this versus the Too Faced one, this is very lightweight. It doesn't feel super heavy or sticky. It still coats your lips and stays on them overnight, but it doesn't feel heavy and sticky. So I really like this. This is a newer favorite, but I still do want to pick up the Hangover Balm just because I do like to brush something on rather than scoop it out, but both really good options. I feel like people are going to ask, so little sidebar here, my lip combo today is a little bit unique for me. I wanted to try something different. So I have the neon lip liner from LA Girl in the shade Pop, I think, or Eye Pop. It's a neon pink and then Pop Beauty's Permanent Pout in the shade Power Pink. So that's my lip combo. But I have a lip liner favorite and I would seriously recommend picking these up because you can use them as all over lip colors and that is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0. My everyday nude shade is Muted Pink. I get so many questions when I wear this because I do wear it as an all over the lip lipstick. These come in a bunch of different colors. They do come in some fun colors too, but I highly recommend trying to find a Your Lips But Better shade. And if you do have a similar lip shade to me, then try out Muted Pink for sure. These are so worth it. Also, they are twist up, but they have a little sharpener so you can sharpen the tip and make it super sharp. Random brush favorite because I'm so into cream makeup lately. I've been all about the creams, cream contour, cream blush, cream highlight, all of it. I've been using this brush for everything pretty much. You can use it for foundation too. It is the Merit number no. one brush. It's a little bit pricier. So again, now is a really good time to buy. There is sun coming through. Where has the sun been? I don't know, but don't mind the lighting change. But if you're looking for a really good multitasking brush from Sephora. This is so, so good. It's also withstood quite a few washes, like deep cleans, without losing any hair. So I do think it's a really good quality brush as well. It's soft, but it has the density that it needs to blend things out. I can't believe I have sun. I have a project I need to work on. I need to take pictures of some products. So I need to get through this video because I need to go do that. And then I have to go to work.
But I have another skincare favorite. This is my favorite eye cream that I've ever tried. This is from First Aid Beauty. Now, I know that some people say that eye creams are gimmicky. I like to have an eye cream specifically for the delicate under eye area. I have dry skin. Sometimes if I let it go too bad, I'll get like flakes under the eyes and I have wrinkles under there. So I like to treat my under eyes differently than the rest of my face. So with all of that being said, this is the best one that I have ever tried. It's from first aid beauty it is the hyaluronic hydrating eye cream or hydrating eye cream with hyaluronic acid it says it's safe for sensitive skin I believe a lot of first aid beauty products are good for sensitive skin but what I really like about this aside from the fact that it smells like you're at a spa is that it's super super lightweight like this is not too thick it's not going to cause milia which are those little bumps underneath the eyes it smells like cucumbers like you're literally at a spa with cucumbers on your eyes it makes your eyes feel that way it's super hydrating and super lightweight and it's by far my favorite i also like that it's in a squeezy tube instead of a pot I like that better because it goes right on my middle finger or my ring finger and then I just tap it right in. So I don't powder very often but I do spot powder so in the areas that really need it or I want to conceal pores. So this is really good for that. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I love the component that this is in too. I love the cap of this because it keeps it from going too crazy and letting powder go all over. If you do travel with this it kind of like squishes down. I don't know how to explain it but it doesn't leave a lot of room for powder to go everywhere and then if you do tap some into this it's the perfect little like bowl to pick up powder with your brush so I really like the component but not only that it's super super fine like it's a finely milled powder it doesn't have flashback it also it just like settles like it sinks into the skin in such a good realistic natural looking way and it's really great to help other powder products blend it's rare these days that I use like a full face of powder products but if I am going to contour with powder this is definitely going down first and as far as like all the powders I've ever tried. This is very neck and neck with Laura Mercier for me and Laura Mercier has been like a ride or die powder. Uh, both of them right up there at the top of translucent powders. This is kind of an honorable mention because I haven't used it long enough to be like this is the end all be all foundation but the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation if you're interested in it now's the time to buy for sure. I unfortunately picked out the wrong shade at first. A lot of these do pull very yellow even if they don't say that they are warm toned they look very warm toned so the first one I picked up was in my typical shade 4.5 whatever 4.5 is called um, it was way too yellow so I actually picked up a very fair shade it's Mont Blanc and I want to say it's L2 is the shade so I went for a more cool toned foundation and I'm really liking this I used it in the high points of my face today and I finally got that nice light reflecting effect that this foundation claims to give so I have to play around with it a little bit more but of course if you're eyeballing a foundation by all means now's the time this is also an honorable mention not because I haven't tried it and loved it but because right now it's sold out on Sephora so I don't know if it's gonna come back in stock but if not just keep it in the back of your mind as a really really good micellar water it's the it cosmetics miracle water it says it's anti-aging I'm not sure why but it's a three-in-one tonic it's skin brightening anti-aging and skin softening I just really really love this if there happens to be a little bit of glue left over in my lashes from wearing falsies and you know it happens and it gets like the liner stuck to it and it gets stuck in your lashes this on a cotton pad and just like gently letting it sit on your lash line for like only a few seconds and then swipe away it's gonna get anything off this is an absolute beast but it's never irritated my eyes not one bit so it's a very sensitive way to remove eye makeup so love this merit clean lash has quickly become one of my favorite mascaras of all time right now I have like a little bit of a half lash moment on but other than that I'm just wearing this mascara and now it I don't think I ever used to say this unless I just overlooked it but now it says it's a tubing mascara in the description and I honestly have never loved a tubing mascara before so if that is true about this like maybe I need to look into tubing mascaras I don't 
recall this coming off like a tubing mascara comes off you know like in little tubes uh but now it says that on the description but regardless of that it's very very lengthening separating it literally makes your lashes look so freaking fluttery and nice now i know i don't love spending money on high-end mascara but for whatever reason this is just doing it for me so i wanted to mention it in case you guys are looking for a really good mascara and the wand is not huge it's not fat it's not clumpy this is like the anti-clumper honestly if you hate clumping this is the anti-clump, so check it out. <laughs> One more recommendation, and then we're going to get on to my wish list. This is, like, the best setting spray I've ever tried, and it's so hard for me to say that because I love so many setting sprays, especially Urban Decay All Nighter, but I'm telling you, I think this makes my makeup last longer, which is just crazy to me. I'm still in disbelief about how much I love this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray just holy shit you guys it's so good I mean there is no perfect setting spray in my opinion because I like a continuous mist and the ones that I have with a continuous mist are not as long lasting as this and Urban Decay All Nighter it's a fine mist but sometimes it will hit you with a couple sprinkles of fatter water so I do wish it had a little bit better of a mister, but honestly, I don't even care because it's so good. It doesn't even matter. This is it. This is it. This is the setting spray that you need to try next if you need a setting spray. This is the one. Okay, flipping my list to my wish list, I have the Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen. Everyone and their mother is talking about this product. I feel like I need to try it. I think it gives your skin like a little bit of luminosity, like a highlighted type effect. I do want to talk more about sunscreens and I want to rank my sunscreens and like share all of them with you guys, but I just don't feel like I'm the most knowledgeable human being when it comes to ingredients and in sun care. So I don't want to like make claims um that I don't have the research and knowledge about but maybe I'll do like a general like why I like this sunscreen why I hate this sunscreen type of video and not so much have like the science behind it because I literally don't know you know I'm just trying to protect my skin while I'm younger so that I don't get wrinkly I have seen some beautiful people on TikTok and I want that for my future. So sun protection, super important. Long story short, I really want to try the one from Super Goop. I have not tried anything from Super Goop before, so that is on my list. I feel like I have a fuzzy stuck to my lip. Next up is actually a hair product that uh, I don't think I'm going to pronounce right. So we're just going to say it once and get it over with. Gizu Honey Infused Hair Oil. Now this hair oil has been all over like clean talk and like all over my what's it called the explore page on instagram this hair oil is taking over the internet and i have been trying to be way way better about my hair i need to do an updated video for you guys because i'm growing this shit out like i'm doing a good job okay uh but i love hair oil i love the sol de janeiro one i've been using that one i actually have quite a few like that i've been using but the honey one is all over the internet and I need it. Also, another product that is a huge TikTok is making me want to buy it is the Fleur Missing Person perfume. Apparently, it smells like someone you love, like a lost connection and like all of these descriptions that I'm seeing on TikTok. So I want the travel spray. I don't want to commit to the big one. I want the travel spray. It's I think it's sold out. I don't know. It comes and goes, I think. So hopefully it will be there during the sale because I really, really, really want to try that. Like, I don't even care what it smells like. I just want to know for myself, you know? Along the same lines, another perfume. I'm in like a perfumey mood because we are going into spring. I want to try new perfumes. Happens every year. And another influencer made me want to buy this, the Replica Bubble Bath perfume. I literally have watched like a whole 20 minute review on the scent of Replica Bubble Bath and I just need to smell it for myself. I don't know if it's in stores at Sephora. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, my local mall has become like a crime zone. Like people are being stabbed and robbed like every single day and like murdered. 
Um, so I don't feel like going there, <laughs> to be honest with you, especially without anyone with me. So I haven't been smelling things or trying things very often in store. So I need to blind buy that. And again, I want the travel size because it's cheaper and I'm not going to, you know, spend $199 on something that I might not even like. Now, the next products I have on my wish list because I wrote this before I had no self-control and I ended up purchasing these directly off of the Kosa's website. So I bought the Kosa's foundation and concealer that everyone and their mother are raving about online. <laughs> Clearly, you guys, I... I get roped right into the TikTok world. Like TikTok has some damn influence and everyone looks so amazing in this foundation. It's the foundation that has all of the skincare infused in it and I just need that in my life. So I actually bought both. I was gonna wait for the sale, but I couldn't wait, especially because a lot of the shades that I thought I would be were sold out on Sephora. So I went directly to the Kosas website. I think I used like my Honey Chrome extension and I might have found like a 10% off coupon potentially. I don't really, yes, I think I did. I think I did find a coupon. Um, but you guys, I'm not sponsored. I need you to know that because I would love to be sponsored by this brand because of how often I use it. But every time I shop for beauty, makeup, sales, anything, I always make sure I check Rakuten first. Rakuten, Rakuten, Rakuten. The cash back service because I get a lot of cash back. So make sure you sign up for Rakuten if you haven't already. I do have a referral code for that. So if I remember, I will leave that down below. I think if you spend $30, like if you were to spend $30 on the Sephora sale, you get $30 back and I get $30. So we should all be doing that for each other. <laughs> and last up, I have like a little question mark next to this because I'm not 100% certain if it's in stock as Sephora, but the Dr. Jart Ceramidin Cream was one of my favorites last year and I ran out of it. And even though I do kind of have a rule where I'm trying to work through the skincare that I have in my collection, I kind of miss that Ceramidin Cream to the point where I'm considering buying it. It's not in my cart yet, which is why there's a question mark, but I wanted to mention it because my skin, my dry skin, loves ceramides. And the ceramide and cream, I want to say a model or something recommended it, and then I tried it, and I fell in love with it. So I really want it. It is pretty pricey. I don't know. It's a little question mark, and that's my last item on my wish list. So I'm sorry for the lighting going in and out. That's probably a little bit annoying. I never have the best lighting, and the reason for that is my retinas, you guys. People who film in beautiful, beautiful lighting, how do you do it? Because my retinas are burning out right now, and my lights are on half, like 50%. Um, I can't even see myself in the viewfinder, but I also do have like a retina condition. So I'm sorry my lighting is not glorious. Maybe one day it will be, but I swear to you, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. And the sun is being so weird. But I have to take some videos now of some body products. I have a little sponsy coming up. Um, really cool one. But I need the light. And I don't know if you guys can see, it's literally like sun, cloud, sun, cloud, sun, cloud. So I have to fight this upstate New York weather to try to get my bag. That is it for this video. Stay tuned for my updated like makeup routine and a get ready with me using all new makeup. And I'm going on a little vacation, so I might not be back for a little bit, but I'm going to try my best not to take too long. So I'm going to go. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my recommendations and wish lists. And hopefully I will see you guys very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.